Well folks, here's something a little bit different and weird. Ever since I got into 3D printing, I've always wondered if a 3D printed plastic bullet will work out. So I designed one in Fusion 360 as a Keith style bullet, and I printed this thing out in PLA plastic. With a 95% end fill, this thing weighs roughly 25 grains. So if you're curious like me, let's check out the results. Alrighty, 3D printed 44 Keith style bullet out of a Ruger Super Blackhawk. See how this thing works. About 15 yards. <laughs> yep, flying sideways. <laughs> All right, so we got two with five grains of tight group. Let's see what this does. Okay, one more. All right, I think I'm in the right direction. All right, how about 10 grains of 2400? Let's see if this thing stabilizes, if we actually get a uh, nice clean cut. All right. Nope, that one did not stabilize. Okay, so we're going to load up seven grains of tight group since the 2400 did not stabilize. And then we got 10 grains. So two and two. Okay. That one seemed to stabilize. All right, here's 10 grains. All right, that looks good. They are ejecting fine. Cool. Okay, so definitely the uh, higher charges are stabilizing the bullet. I got a nice little paper cut here now. Uh, look at that, nice clean holes. So, I think uh, these are working all right. Uh, here's some of the recovered bullets we found. Completely disintegrated. Definitely, uh, one of them actually looks pretty good, especially this one right here. See, that's 3D printed. See the rifling marks on it too. Yeah. Is that the, is that the head of it? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, if you run out of lead, you can 3D print some uh, plastic bullets, and as you can tell, they got quite a bit of punch still. So I'll continue to play around, maybe uh, have something that's actually accurate. <laughs> but um, pretty surprised to see that uh, 10 grains of pistol powder, um, basically tight group, is actually making these things work and stabilize. So cool. Let me know what you guys think. Given the fact that this revolver hasn't been cleaned after the last cast lead shooting, I tried to see if there's any kind of uh, plastic residue or melting in the bore. Uh, this is the footage with the Teslon bore scope, and you can see that there actually isn't any fouling whatsoever. So shooting 3D printed bullets, is it possible to do? Well, after today's results, I could say yes it is. And if you guys are curious like I am, I'll do some more testing in the future. Let me know, comment below. As always, stay safe, happy shooting, and I'll catch y'all on the next video.